All right. What's hey, up? Manish. Hey, Bruce. This is Manish Dow. This is Bruce Greenwood. We're on a new show called The Resident on Fox. Which premieres on January 21st, right after the NFC Championship game. And then again, a new episode the following night on Monday at 9. You got to check it out. You got it, right? You got it. You got it's it. kind of about the conflict between medicine and money in a major hospital. Things that you never like to think about, but stuff goes wrong. With different perspectives on doctors at various stages in their career, and it's super exciting. The older guy who really thinks he's a star, and kind of was for a while, but the wheels are getting a little wobbly, and the young guy... Who gets taken down a couple notches. As he should. As he should. Everybody's getting taken down, huh? All right, ask me a question. Let's go. How are you similar to your character? Aha. Uh -huh. I think um, we're both uh, ambitious people, but also we uh, I think I think we also come in uh, to a new venture with the highest hopes and the best. And then meet the somebody like me and, and then it all we goes meet bad. Greenwood. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't go so well. Ooh. So I think that we both are idealistic in that way. Good. Okay. Yeah. How are you different? Um, I think he's idealistic and I'm not. Ooh, oh, he's wrong about that. <laughs> no. All right, your turn. All right. All right. How much fake blood do you think you've gone through? Oh, buckets. Buckets of fake blood, um, all all over the place. Uh, like, yeah. I mean, in volume, this bucket, that three buckets. A fountain of fake blood. A fountain of blood. In that yeah. first scene, yeah. right? Yeah, a Trevi fountain of fake blood. Shall I get Particularly in that first scene. Yeah, let's get another one. All right. Are there any <laughs> are there any non spoiler hints you can give us about what to expect from the show? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. You can expect to be you can expect to be surprised and horrified, and uh, and amused, and you might even learn something. Surprised, horrified, and amused. All right. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. Do we have any questions from from our audience? What was the hardest? Oh yeah. What sort of medical advising do you receive, receive on, the show? on the show? Well, we have physicians on the show that advise us every day uh, and help us with. Uh, action and behavior and also pronunciation. Also, before the show, during research, uh, we all talk to doctors. Um, yeah, and then when the doctors, we got two doctors on the set and ask them the same question, we'll get two answers that are different. Yeah. Every doctor so, has a different way of doing things. So. What was the hardest scene to film so far? So far, I would say the hardest scene to film was the central line scene in the pilot because it involved so many different actions, so, a lot of terminology, and a uh, very important order of uh, actions for uh, the patient and the incision and, and making sure all the pieces were right uh, and working together with the other actors to make sure it was, um, it was done uh, authentically. How did you repair, prepare for the role? Um, we both have doctors in our families. And uh, I talked to the doctors in my family, and I've, I read a lot. And um, one of the things that's interesting about the show is that even though we're playing doctors, at bottom, these doctors are, are human, and they make mistakes that are just a function of their flaws in their character or their, their assumptions. And um, so it's not just doctoring that happens. It's doctoring that happens through the lens of people who are just human and make mistakes. So I've made plenty of mistakes, so I just sort of <clears throat> didn't have to do much research in that <laughs> I prepared for the role, uh, like Bruce, I also spoke to the doctors in my family. Also, um, I spoke to doctors also about their lives outside the hospital and how that influences what they, how they practice medicine in the hospital. And um, I was able to talk to our onset doctor during the pilot quite a bit about uh, behavior and, and culture within within the hospitals that he worked at. So, um, and I also read this book, uh, Unaccountable. So all of those things really helped me prepare for the role. Is there any romance? Oh yeah, I mean, th yeah, there is. It's a closed system, a hospital, right? There's things are gonna happen. Yeah. Right. 
Perfect. He's got a he's got a fiance, I do. and uh, about midway through the season, Dr. Bell, who I play, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you ever scared of anything in the hospital? Was I ever scared of anything in the hospital? I wouldn't say I was scared, but I was in the real hospital. It, they mean, or in the fake hospital? In our fake hospital. I would say the there's a scene in the pilot where a we have a prosthetic gangrene foot, and uh, something happens to that foot repeatedly, and it was pretty uh, startling. Let's put it like that. I wouldn't say scared, but it was definitely disturbing. You'll see it. Mm -hmm. Nothing scared me. Nothing scared you. Okay. No. I mean, maybe when that first artery exploded in my face, that was a little weird. Yeah. Yeah. That was, and kept on pumping. It's jumpy. Not scary, but it made you... It's jump. Jumpy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely jumpy. And then slippery. Slippery. <laughs> what are you most excited for us to see in the show? I'm really excited to see uh, the hospital that we're working in expose itself as, as a business and um, sort of that curtain getting peeled back. And that's something that's new to the medical drama. Is that's something that we are doing on our show. And I'm pretty excited to see that happen. Yeah, I'm with you there. Good answer. <laughs> All right. Don't you think? Yeah. Come I think that's it. All right. Go, so, go uh, did you ever consider going into the medical field? Uh, of course. I mean, my parents wanted all of their kids to be doctors. That's just that's just the way it was. Uh, so, of course, I considered it, but not necessarily where, uh, where I was going Where your doctor. talents lie? Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. I would say no. You can play a doctor. Yeah, I can play a doctor fine on TV, but you got but it. But your sister's a doctor, right? Yeah, my sister's a doctor, so she took over that responsibility yeah. for yeah. us all. So, yeah. uh, congrats to her. And yeah, indeed. Yeah. 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 What kind of doctors are on the show? Well, we have surgeons, we have internists, uh, oncologists, oncologists uh, ER docs. Mm -hmm. Um, do we have a couple of specialists? Yeah, a couple of ENT guys. Chief I mean, of surgery over here. Chief of surgery. Big chief. I don't let anyone forget it. Nope. Do a lot of uh, you, resident, me, chief of surgery. Got it, got it. Got it. You'll hear one that more frequently. time, one more time. What am I? Resident. 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 Got Who am I? Chief of surgery. Yeah, thank you. Yes. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have you been surprised by anything? Oh, on the show. <laughs> Never been surprised by anything. I think we were really surprised uh, about the multiple surgeries that um, that our show brings to light. There's one episode where um, where Bruce's character is conducting multiple surgeries at the same time, which we learn happens all the time, mm -hmm. and it's some it's something new to uh, the me a medical show. I think. I know. I was surprised by how how good everybody is, and how how everybody wants to support one another. I was actually, you know, I'm, I, I don't know that I don't have a lot of experience on network television really, but, but I was really, really surprised and really encouraged to go, wow, everybody feels like a team, right? And uh, that was, that was a, a really pleasant surprise to For me. For sure. I think it's a very collaborative cast. We all get along really well and we're constantly learning and trying to elevate the material as much as we can. Yeah, and that's what makes it fun. I mean, it's kind of it's actually fun to go to work. Okay, uh, thank you. Watch the show. Thank you. <laughs> Watch the show. <laughs>